Got it. Having fun while at the same time learning math-based skills was the goal of the first annual SNAP event at UBC Okanagan. The student-centered, non-competitive, all-inclusive, problem-based math fair was put on by students for students. The numerous booths featuring interactive math puzzles were designed by UBCO students in the Mathematics for Elementary School Teachers course and the participants were grade 7 students from Rutland Middle School. Something like this is a great opportunity for them, for all kids to access math, and that's what the SNAP Math Fair is supposed to be. Every kid has a way to access this math and be successful. It's about problem solving, and it doesn't have to be the, the grind that the kids are familiar with in the classroom. It can be a fun activity. It's kind of neat to get to see them going through what we had yeah. to go through yeah. to figure out the game, so it's kind of cool. For people who don't really are not really skilled in math, it's really a good way to train the brain. Although this is the first time a SNAP event has been held in the Okanagan, similar events are organized in countries around the world each year. For those in school district number 23, it's a chance to support students in developing math skills that offer unique challenges, unlike those presented on paper. And one of the new learning outcomes is that they do can solve math puzzles and games. So we want kids to see that math isn't all about pen and paper. It's about logic and problem solving, which is the grand goal of math. They're actually fun games that probably lots of kids have done in their life before and they never even knew it was math. In my class, kids really are into Rubik's Cubes, which are a type of pattern. It's got an algorithm associated with it, and it's got a lot of uh, 3D movement in it, which is a part of math. And I don't think kids realize that other things are a part of math and not just solving problems on paper. The event also offered a unique perspective for the university students. As they spent time away from writing essays and attending lectures, to creating fun, interactive projects that would challenge the students. It's a lot of fun because it's like a break kind of, and it's neat because you get to be like really creative and try to figure out different ways to make it more fun for like the kids to come. The object of the game is to get the blue frogs onto the other side and the purple frogs onto this side, but they can only move along the straight line and you can only hop over the opposite color. This one's a little bit more spatial oriented. You have to be able to think like one step ahead to see, just to visualize like what's going to happen next. It's not really addition or subtraction or anything like that. It's more just like getting your thoughts in the line. You're uh, trying to solve the different game boards um, by only having one of each size tower in each row and each column. So just like your classic Sudoku puzzle, you can't have any like doubles going on and you want one through four in each row and column. It's hoped this year's event will pave the way for similar math fairs within the school district in years to come. I think it'll be a great idea. Um, my hope is that I run one with my set of grade sevens and then introduce it to the rest of the grade sevens in my school. I think it'd be a great idea having people solve, getting mastering their own um, games and teaching other people how to solve it. Reporting for Go on Shaw TV, I'm Brendan Osborne in Kelowna.